If you've ever wanted to create multiple inverted masks in Adobe Premiere, one problem you run into is when you do try to create multiple masks and invert them, that Premiere doesn't recognize both. It'll only recognize one of them because the shapes are kind of intersecting. So one quick fix I've previously mentioned is using the nesting trick. If you just create one mask here and then right click and nest your clip, then you're free to create brand new masks and effects as if it was a new clip, but it still retains the old cutout. But there is a more elegant solution to this, I think. Thanks to a commenter who mentioned this on a previous video that I uploaded, I want to show you this other method as well. So nesting, let's keep in mind, is a common sort of catch-all troubleshooting tip that you can try in Premiere just because of the way that it works. But in this case, let's go to the effects panel and in the keying folder of the video effects, let's search for alpha adjust and add that onto our clip. So here in the effect controls panel, we can see the alpha adjust effect was added. And this effect simply allows you to adjust the overall shape or alpha of your image and adjust the opacity of it. So in essence, what we can do is reverse the steps so that we don't need to invert. So if we start from a 0% opacity here and create a mask on the alpha adjust effect, now we're not having to use inverted masks. We're just using normal masks and I can put these four corners into place. Uh, if I want, I can even zoom in here. And this one happens to have a little bit of a, a knee slightly adjusting here. And you still have all your typical mask effects, such as being able to feather or expand or contract the mask and adjusting the mask opacity as well. So in this case, I can now just create as many masks as I need. And because we're doing it not in an inverted way, we began with the opacity at zero, then we don't run into that inversion problem at all. So this is a nice solution for us to be able to mask out multiple objects without having to maybe nest multiple times one clip, even though nesting could potentially still help you with other issues that you're having. Another trick that you can do if there's some slight camera movement, like in this clip, is whenever you have a mask, you can press the track selected mask forward button and it will track through just general slight positional movements. It doesn't work well with rotation or 3D movement. That's something much better suited for After Effects. So you can see all of these keyframes that were created and it just slightly moves around the mask where it needs to if there's slight movement. So you can keep that in mind as well for some mask tracking. If you're wondering why my mask is transparent and yours might be black, this is just a simple viewing option you can change by clicking the setting wrench and showing the transparency grid or not. So black is still transparent. It just happens to be there's no layer underneath this. And you can also now drag any other layer underneath and it will fill in all of those masked areas. So that's how to create multiple masks. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out many other masking tips and tutorials in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my future videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.